This house is financial freedom for me. This is Nick. He's been a tiny homeowner for eight months. He's living in a home that's roughly seven and a half feet wide, 18 feet deep, and a touch over 10 feet high from the floor to its tallest point. That's roughly 125 livable square feet. What do you think? I think it's fantastic. So, okay, so this is a kitchen, yep. bathroom, yep. living room. Yeah, this is the living area here. Okay, and then this is yeah, the Yeah, go check it out, absolutely. Your bedroom? Just watch your head up there. It's a, it's a little twist, it's a little tight at the top. Up there, isn't it? Yeah, and there's like a lot of arm space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it comes to the appeal of the tiny home movement, a lot of it just boils down to money. Our 28-year-old homeowner paid $28,000 for his cabin on wheels, plus 6,000 bucks on renovations. Tack on another $250 a month for the land lease, which includes utilities, electricity, water, and the internet. And that's it for this Long Island resident. I was looking at some other places uh, for about six or, or, or 12 grand or so. I'd love to have my own piece of land but I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think I can afford it out here. But Nick is lucky. That land he's leasing is a patch of grass in his uncle's backyard. In dense urban centers where this tiny home model works best, experts say that it's just not economical to build one because of the crazy high price of land. And those small houses just aren't as cheap as they used to be. They're appreciating two times faster than the overall market. The median list price just hit close to $119,000. But even though they're going up in value, they actually take longer to sell than regular homes. So if you're looking to unload that appreciated asset, it may take longer than you think. But for this tiny house resident, he's not going anywhere. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.